Little Maxent body going on here. This helps keep the jig sort of from looking like a drowned rat. Getting too skinny. It helps you cast them a little farther too. And I'm not sponsored by Berkeley or anything, but that, you know, it's been proven that Maxent stuff is almost like it, so. But I've always used a piece, you know, some sort of piece of a finesse worm or a little worm on, on the shank of my jig. Just for a little bit of, just for a little bit of a body, that's all it is. And like I say, it just keeps it bulked up a little bit. I make my own jigs um, and uh, just keep them in this little Plano soft pack. I've had this going for years, so. Got all kinds of different, you know, most often use black, sometimes brown's good around a mayfly hatch. Got some bright ones for sometimes smallmouths are weird, they like the bright colors. And uh, just, you know, different sizes. Those are some different little, little jigs a friend made for me. But yeah, that's the goods right there. Won a lot of money with that, that stuff. You know, across the, the smallmouth belt, they've been a little bit of a secret over the last 10 years or so, but um, growing up around Lake of the Woods, where I do, we've got a lot of tourist camps and a lot of guides, and there's guides up there that have been using these forever. And I started tournament fishing in the 90s, and it was just part of the arsenal. I learned how to tie them when I was 12, 14 years old. Everyone just used a little hair jig. And, you know, when I was younger, it was a follow-up for a fish maybe that missed the topwater bait. You know, followers, you hook one and there's followers, you throw it down for that. I didn't necessarily just fish with it all the time. And then as I got a little more confidence in it, saw how, how well the fish liked it, um, it just kind of started to be just getting tied on all the time. And, um, you know, over the years, caught a lot of fish on these things. So you can't see them on the camera probably, but there's all kinds of bass we're sort of floating over right now. And you can see, you can probably see the boulders, and it's just a classic main lake spot, you know, shallow bar of rock. And these bass are just cruising. I can see two, four, or five pounders right here. And uh, they're just cruising up and down this edge. These, these are the ones where the marabou jig kind of shines when they're, when they're hard to catch. And I mean, I don't, you don't, these ones I kind of have spooked, so they've seen me. We got a customer. Oh yeah, that's a big beauty. Look at this, look at this. There is probably a dozen with this thing. They all see the boat and then they, they're hitting the road, but. Shallow flats, that's where this thing shines. And uh, yeah. So you can see my rod, got a long soft rod. That's the whole key to the whole jig, the whole program. Cause it, not only for fighting the fish, it's a small little hook we got on there, but lots of shock absorption. But more importantly, for fighting them, you got that, or for casting these things, you got that long, uh, long soft rod. So you can really whip, that's a 16th ounce little jig. And look at that. It's a Gamagatsu number one 604. I can't even get the thing out, hardly. Small, tiny little hook, but that 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 hook is real strong, real stout, and uh, you know, a lot of the jigs that you buy have like a crappie hook in them, and they're not very good for you know you got to battle those big fish. So, Let's see if we can get another one. Yeah, coming at me. <laughs> Sorry, I get excited. Look at this, oh my God, I've never seen that many following them before. They're sharp though, they see the boat and they are out of here. As far as line goes, you know, you can see, I, can, I mean, that was a long cast. And like, normal cast and that's this tiny little jig eight pound power pro i use an eight pound liter seaguar gold label started using that this year really good stuff and uh 
that's it. When they're in the shallow water, man, there's no better bait, I don't think, to catch them. These little hair jigs. Whew. Normally I would go to the back of the boat to land these things, mm -hmm. but... <laughs> oh, look at that. That's cool. Hooks them in the top of the mouth just about every time. That's so fun. Awesome. Feels good. You know, as far as reels go, I talked about making long casts. Um, you know, look at this, another big batch of them following this one too. Um, but you want to fill your spool up. That sort of helps, really helps a lot with making the long casts. And, uh, you know, it's just a regular 2500 size reel. That's a Shimano Twin Power reel. Beautiful reel for handling the light line. Um, you get a little better reel, you're gonna not have as much line twist and, and that sort of thing. So, I might take this one back here, we can grab them a little easier. But, yeah, that big that's a G Loomis NRX Plus 902, so it's a 7.6 long soft rod, and that's that sort of really helps for being able to land these guys. Come on. Good practice not having a net. Ah, there we go. Sweet. That thing just popped out. That's so fun, man, when these things are up shallow, cruising around. Give them the hair. <laughs> 